So I was wrong. These are some of the hardest words we say in life, but they are necessary to our vocabulary if we value people around us and desire to grow personally. I wasn't quiet about what I was looking for from Indian when they announced they were bringing something new to the table on February 1st, and I was excited. Let me go back to where my journey with Indian began to give you some context. Personally, I was in a rut. Pressures from work, life, and things not panning out the way I expected left me struggling with depression and in need of an outlet. Out of nowhere, a family member gave me a gift, and to this day, I'm not sure he understood what he did for me. He had an old 1983 Kawasaki 440 sitting in storage and just asked me if I had any interest. I had thought about getting a motorcycle, but I didn't want to be one of those stereotypical guys in his late 30s who had an identity crisis and bought a motorcycle. I thought to myself, if I'm really into motorcycles, I'll find out quickly by riding this old bike. So I did. I paid $5 at the local DMV, answered 40 questions on a computer, and I started riding. It was the outlet I needed. I felt drawn to it. I spent my spare time riding, exploring places, and just the sheer thrill and freedom that comes from riding a motorcycle. A year of riding and an MSF course later, I started looking for the first bike I wanted to buy. I happened to see a brand new Indian dealer on my way out for some coffee one morning and stopped in. And then I saw it, the Indian Scout Bobber. I sat on it and I fell in love. I didn't have any interest in anything else on the floor. I knew with this bike, I was home. Just to be sure, I started looking on Facebook Market for local bikes for sale and checked out a few. I visited a couple other dealers, but I kept coming back to the Indian Scout Bobber. I found a local guy selling his brand new bobber with only 689 miles on it, and I immediately went to see it. We struck a deal, and I got the bike I wanted. I rode it home on that stock seat and shocks, and the pain was simply a reminder to me that I was alive. I felt like I had mounted a rocket, and I was holding on for dear life. My passion for the Indian Scout Bobber hasn't waned. Every time I get on it, I love it. And while I've thought about trading it for something else, I've not gotten on anything that has given me the feeling I get when I'm on that bike. So back to Indian's announcement and my reaction. By now, we all know they've added the Indian Scout Rogue to the Scout lineup. And here's where I was wrong in multiple ways. Initially, I speculated that it would be in the Scout line, that the engine platform would remain the same liquid-cooled V-twin we've come to know and love in Scout. I knew some ergonomic and aesthetic changes would be included if it indeed was a Scout model upgrade, but what I speculated about in the upgrades in performance and tech fell short. It's what I and many other Scout fans wanted to see, but it didn't happen. Initially in a post on Instagram, go give me a follow if you want to connect there, I gave my initial reaction and expressed my disappointment. And while some may misconstrue my reaction as a negative, I want to balance my disappointment with some positive takeaways on Indian's decision not to invest more into changing Scout. I was disappointed because I'm passionate about Scout. I've had people tell me if I want tech to just go buy Chief, but that isn't a solution to me. I love the Scout line for so many reasons, and while I'm not saying I'll never ride something else, my comments come from a place of love and passion both for the bike and the brand. So what are the positives? Well, first, I understand from a business standpoint why Indian would not go the route I hoped Rogue would go. Putting tech into the bike bumps the price point up and may cause competition and decrease sales in chief. I also understand that they are building up their bestseller and entry-level platform much in the same way Harley did the Sportster. With Harley recently beefing up the Sportster with tech and performance, they also ended up increasing the price. And to be honest, I don't see the sales skyrocketing from what once was a successful entry-level platform. Time will tell on that one. Secondly, I'm happy for the new customer. If Rogue had been available in 2019 and I knew what I know now about my riding preferences and style, the Rogue would have been my first purchase instead of Scout Bobber. Because it wasn't available, I went rogue on my Scout Bobber, as many others have, to change it into the longer haul, more comfortable ride that it is today. So I'm glad that when the new customer walks onto the showroom floor today, the options I only had in aftermarket parts have now become what is available off the floor direct from Indian. In conclusion, I still love Indian Motorcycle. I love the Scout line, and I believe overall that this is a solid offering for new customers considering Indian as their bike. For those of us with Scout already, let's keep dreaming, riding our rides, and looking to what is to come. What do you think about the new Rogue model in the Scout line? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get notified of future content. Until then, friends, I'll see you around.